All right, so we're here today with Byron and his MX-83 Cressida. What you guys would have just seen is when we threw the 1J into his car. And yeah, now we're gonna have a little walk around of Byron's Cressida because it is one of the best Cressidas out there. So thank you. Thank you wanna you. give us a quick overview of your car? Yeah, sure. Uh, so basically uh, this car, we just finished the swap 1J with a uh, W58 on it. Um, a W58. W58 still. So you're don't brave, worry. You're brave. Yeah, don't worry. Um, At least it's not W55. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll come. Our 154 will come. But baller. You know, yeah, I'm having a baby, so you know, I have to <laughs> relax with money. Um, basically, simple uh, serial nine kit, um, stock um, MK3 um, drive shaft with a stock welded. Oh yeah, three MK3 nine. Super drive shaft. Yeah. It just bolts in. So like basically, you. so basically, I have to use um, a Cressida half, rear half, and then MK3. Oh, half. so you just bolted it at the center support bearing. Exactly. All yeah, right. Basically that, and then um, the stock rear um, um, diff, but uh, the subframe. Just welded. It welded, but the subframe, uh, subframe has been done already with um, with reinforcement basically and then the plate walled in the back so because these are prone to crack in half the subframe so so you had to re reinforce them. reinforce it yeah so i just recently did the uh, punch out performance uh diff bushings on it and yeah so why'd you put all this work into an mx83 like why a mx83 so um in the beginning um uh, in the philippines these cars are popular out there um growing up in the philippines seeing this car are like my dream car. You were like, damn, yeah. that's hard. Yeah, I that's, need that. I need that. I need that in here. <laughs> and I had the Cressida before in the beginning. Oh, this is your second Cressida. It's my second, my first Cressida. I remember we manual swapped. No, you took your first one to get manual, manual swap. swap. Yeah. And then we manual swapped this one. Yeah. In like your freaking sharp driveway. <laughs> right. But yeah. we did it in like two days. Two days. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, um, and that car got set on fire. Yeah, that car <laughs> set on fire. Yeah. So, but long story short, um. I went with IS300 and I didn't like that. I went with the S14, I didn't like that. So I guess I could go back to Cressida, which is the car I'm the most, I like the most. And this chassis is- It definitely been, shows you are dedicated to yeah, it. Yeah, this chassis is the best chassis. I think my own, own opinion, so. Di different people have different opinion, but my opinion is the best chassis ever. So what'd you set this car up for? Uh, so is it just like a weekend car? So basically it's a street car, weekend car, but uh, good to go drive to Thunder Hill two hours go there two drift hours, all day all day and come back in two hours that's why um, I put the Jay-Z on it so it's a weekend warrior so you can drive it the everywhere. Toyota reliability exactly yeah so I can't can't complain with that and it sounds good thank you yeah, yeah. oh shout out to uh, Aaron from Pandora doing the exhaust work on this car um, he did a three inch and the intercooler intercooler piping and stuff too he did a three inch should we show exhaust. it real quick yeah sure yeah we've been talking about the 1J yeah. But we haven't showed it yet. Yeah. I'll let you pop it because I forgot where the latch is, honestly. Yeah, that's okay. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so uh, shout out to Aaron from Pandora uh, Motorsport. He did my intercooler piping, uh, intercooler, and my intake. And also he did my um, cutback exhaust. Well, not cutback, but like... Because who has cats? Yeah, exactly. But the... Um, <laughs> Down pipe all the way back, three inch exhaust. Uh, sounds so good with a four inch uh, turn down on it. So, uh, shout out to him. He did a great, great job. I can't complain. And then, what Jay Z is this? Like, out of what chassis? So, this came out from a uh, Jay ZX 171. Uh, picked, up, picked up from uh, Sacramento. Sacramento. Right? Shout out to Steven. Helped me pick this up, man. Shout out to him, man. He helped me a lot. And yeah, pretty much it. And I had to just reuse my transmission and i just went with a um, drift motion 1.5 stage uh clutch on it which and is, everything else is pretty much you just did maintenance right yeah maintenance on it so basically all and, uh, harness harness yeah so pretty much all oem seals on it i bought the seal kit from lexus uh it came with everything all the seals and everything so it's read from uh, like you did a 2j seal kit or? no it's for a um 1j for this okay. this specific uh but car. they just had it at lexus well, yeah, kind of like that, yeah. Okay. Makes sense, yeah. And um, with a tweak performance uh, harness, plug and play, no, had no complaint with it. Um, stock ECU still, automatic stock ECU. 
There's only one thing that doesn't work on the cluster with this harness, right? I forgot yeah. what, the coolant temp, right? Coolant temp, yeah. So I guess you have to uh, modify the cluster to make it work. Um, but I just went with aftermarket gauge on it, so uh, read accurately, a little bit accurately with it. Uh, the engine bay is beautiful. I like how you kept the battery in the engine bay instead of relocating it. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, you got a giant truck, you, a trunk, you got to use it all. Exactly, yeah. So when I, the, the main purpose of this is uh, I want to put spares in the back um, when I go to events and be comfortable who I'm with, like um, back seats and two spares in the back and call up the weekend. Sadly, no AC, but... You can't have I, everything. I, I can't have everything. You gotta pick your battles. <laughs> yeah. I think you pick some great battles. Exactly, to win. yeah. So, um, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty much... Right. Um, well, um, what made you want to go with the Serial 9 kit? Because I know you used to have like an OEM style kit. Yeah, so Serial 9 kit, this is a, the Type 2. Uh, basically, this kit is um, higher on all of the key kits. I live in... Oakland, so we have a lot of potholes here. It's not just potholes, it's yeah. craters. It's yeah. straight up just holes exactly. in the ground. So um, I try to keep the kit together. And like I said, I want I want to drive this without me always thinking about, oh, I might crack the kit, I might crack the kit. And End of the day, it's just supposed to be a comfortable car. Exactly, yeah. That's why I chose this car. Something you that. enjoy driving. Exactly, yeah. So that's what I did. And it's not bad. It's like on the kit alone, um, I didn't even trim anything. Um, just bolts it right bolts up. on right, yeah. That's why I uh, always buy good quality kit because not wavy like most exactly, fiberglass kits, yeah. super um, straight. It's really um worth it, you know. I mean, I waited almost a year, almost a year that's on the great. kit, yeah, but it's all worth it, you know. What I mean, because at the end of the day, um, uh, I'm not gonna sell this car, but when you when you sell your car, it's more worth it with the actual. Um, a, a real kit. Authentic okay. parts. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. At so, the end of the day, you're, the amount of extra you're spending on yeah. nicer parts is time you're saving trying to make Try not to so great parts exactly, fit. Yeah. It's like just suck it up in the beginning. Exactly. Suck it up. You'll think yourself later. Yeah. Um, you know, suck it up. And in the long term, long run, um, it's just better. You know but what, what made you want to go with the Serial 9 kit? Because I know you used to have a JZX81 rear bumper. Yeah. And the front bumper and like just side skirts and um, why'd you have to switch it up? Cause I kind of want to go with a little aggressive uh, look on it. Uh, the OEM look is good, and but this uh, is just better. It's just better, yeah. I like uh, I like how this be look better. I guess you could say. And I guess you, we have we have different opinions, but this is um, also when you had the OEM style kit. Whenever you would throw some like nice wheels on it, it would like stand out a little too much, and the car looks super off balance. But exactly. now you can run yeah. these beautiful wheels, and it looks perfect. Like exactly. you got the Minervas on the front. Yeah, and then the XT7s in the back. Yeah. So, um, thank you to uh, John for selling me his XT7s. Um, English John. Look, yeah, Endless John. So this this looked good on the car. Um, Dude, I'm so upset about that because he. I looked in the chat. And I seen John say, anyone want to buy the XT7s? And I was yeah. like, oh, I'm going to uh, say I want to buy it. And I see yeah. you saying, I'm on my way. I was like, damn it. Yeah, exactly. So I couldn't miss that opportunity. I kept bugging this guy for like a year. So I to try to sell his uh, XT7. But he finally it. did. But he did a good, he did a, a great, great move, though. He got some some coming up soon. So you got some beautiful wheels. Yeah, too. so maybe next video is going to be about John's car. And then you got the Minervas. Yeah. yeah. Which... Beautiful chrome. Chrome. Are, um, you, you just got another Minervas and they're nice. Yeah, um, inspired by Kuya John and Kuya Dylan. So try to keep it to the aimless crew, you know what I mean? So. And then yeah. also, yeah. I know you used to have some Sparkos, which were pretty sick, but going with the flashier style. Yeah, where... exactly. So chrome wheels always look good in the white car. Mm -hmm. So I just recently bought these um, KFs. Um, they're going to get rebuilt soon with the uh, Minerva suit, so I'm just waiting uh, uh, from uh, winning the order from VR. Order lips and order lips, uh, barrels and uh, lips for that one. So I'm going with the three inch lips on this and then going three and a half lips. Uh, I like how balanced this car is. Like it has that look where it's like super aggressive, kitted, yeah, nice wheels, but exactly. then it's like very, you're not sacrificing anything. Exactly, yeah, so. Um, like this car has no sacrifices. Yeah, so that's that's what I'm trying to um, go for. I'm trying to go for like a family four door drift car. Cause you car. got a baby now. Coming All up. coming up, yeah. Yeah, so uh, hopefully it's a boy, so. We still gotta get you that bride baby seat. <laughs> right, baby seat, yeah. So uh, to go with the 
your interior right here. So interior is pretty uh, straightforward. Um, excessive. Um, um, yeah. Excessive. Well, not this one, but excessive um, seat mounts um, with um, Zeta 3 and um, Nardi on it. The 330 mil. 330 mil and um, uprise shift knob, of course. You cannot uh, Shout out uprise. Shout out uprise, man. And um, AM gauges. Um, I went with AM gauges because I want things to be more accurately than. Yeah, uh, even though it's like cool to have like a Japanese older style gauge for some things you just you want yeah. it to be accurate yeah and I, I want to work all the time um, don't get yeah. me wrong Duffy gauges are good maybe in the future I'll do something like that but maybe if you have a standalone with like a bunch of safeties exactly and it's yeah. just like you're just kind of referencing that but you're not yeah. depending on it it's a yeah, little better but exactly I'm still on stock you see yourself stock you see you got so it I, I want my gauges to be accurate as much as possible especially yeah. because of your cool and temp on the cluster doesn't exactly work. yeah so um, not bad but and then you got the comfy rear seat. Yep, exactly. So I still have the stock uh, seat on it. I'm trying to keep it. Uh, you can fit four people in here. Exactly. So um, that's, that's it doesn't rub. Doesn't rub at all. So I'm still on stock uh, body. I think I'm gonna keep it stock body forever. Um, they it works best like that in the main, uh, and they work more when you keep it stock. Uh, pretty much, pretty much stock inside. That's my main goal. Just keep it stock. And uh, a lot of stock, a lot of stock, yeah. So let me, uh, wait. Oh, yeah, pause, pause. it's fine. I don't think pause. the mic will pick that up too okay. much, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to show the turn down real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, we got the turn down here from Aaron at Pandora. Pandora, he did a like I said, three inch exhaust yeah, with he a went muffler crazy on this exhaust. with a four inch turn down on it, so which is good. Um, Sounds perfect for daily uh, if I like to drive it. It has that Jay-Z sound without being like... Too too loud. Um, but it's still like a good volume. Exactly. It's like yeah. perfect. It's ba this entire car is just balanced, which yeah, is why I think exactly, yeah. it's the best car in Aimless. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. no that's a cap. Yeah. That's, Villains has the best car ever. So, um, shout out to Kuya uh, Justin too. Uh, we, this used to have a third brake light, but he deleted it. So, looks so good. Nah, with one piece. I like... I don't like... I'm not a big fan of third brake lights, but this that ain't is, no Formula One car. Exactly, yeah, but this that's how I like it the best. Or a Subaru. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. That's Any future plans for your car, or are you just um, satisfied for now? I'm 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 pretty good for now. Um, we still talk about team color, so maybe in the future. He just painted the car white, and now he's like, "What's the team color? What color are we painting yeah, it?" Yeah, exactly. So. That's probably the big, uh, big next step on this car. It's gonna be team call there on the car, and then once that's done, yeah, I think that's. I'm I'm gonna slow down a little bit on the car, but okay, I'm gonna say this right now. He always says he's gonna slow down and let the car be like how it is, yeah. but then he always does something crazy, so I don't nah, believe it. No, nah, that's no, nah, that's. Well, next thing you know, we're gonna see a giant single. No, nah, no. Nah, a standalone. Nah. <laughs> Maybe a standalone, but not not yeah, a giant single. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Keep I try to keep it stock. Um, like all drifter, they keep it stock and they drive drive it more. You know what I mean? Um, when you overcomplicate something, it just it's not worth it. It's not working. Yeah. So yeah, suspension basically. Oh, same you just thing. got some BCs. BCs, uh, just uh, excessive knuckles, stock lowers, and some all. Some adjustable arms in the back. Is it basically? So you yeah. just dial in the camera and tow. Exactly. Easy, basic. You know what I mean? So. Uh, nothing, like I said, like he said, don't overcomplicate it. Just just drive. Drive, you know what I mean. Have you a know. car you enjoy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And less thing to break. Well, you know what I mean? thank you, Byron, for showing us thank the you. best car in Aimless. No, uh, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I'm pretty that, sure man. everyone here is appreciating looking at this car because this thing is beautiful. and. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, yeah. super dialed. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. And hopefully it motivates people to make cars yeah. like this. Yeah, it look good, yeah. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed what we threw together in the beginning, which was our little, what we gathered of throwing the 1J into us. Is that freaking gunshot? I think that's okay, gunshot. Uh, Oakland. But <laughs> yeah. our little video of us throwing the 1J into his car. Yeah. It's just something that like we could look back on, and it's cool. And, and yeah. yeah, thank you guys exactly, for yeah. watching, and thank you, Byron, for showing you. us your car. No, thank you for, um, for being an aimless guy. You know, I'm happy. Yeah. He was born into it. Yeah, there you go. Thank All you. All right.